Hi everyone, this is AFC RD TV and welcome to highlights of AFC Russian of Diamonds against AFC Kempston Rovers from the Chrome Sporting Trophies UCL Premier Division on Tuesday evening. So the Diamonds knew with a win here they would go top of the league and the game couldn't have started any better. A speculative cross from Elliot Lamb Johnson, far too close to the away goalkeeper Martin Conway, who then disastrously dropped the cross into his own net for an own goal less than one minute on the clock. And with the wind in the Diamonds' favour for the first 45 minutes, they had plenty of chances. Here Tom Lorraine breaking clear of the last defender. And shooting wide when surely Faisal Creer was in the better position. But it didn't have mattered three minutes in when a Lamb Johnson corner straight onto the head of Russ Dunkley, who headed home 2-0 Diamonds. However, Kempston would get straight back into things. Ben Gallant with the cross down the right-hand side. The unfortunate Jamal Clark for the Diamonds missing his clearance. And Ash Fuller was there to smash the ball home, getting the goal back for the away side six minutes in. However, Diamonds would then get that advantage regained. The perhaps slightly unfortunate Grant Fryer penalised for handball. Other than Matt Gearing, Diamonds have struggled to have a completely dependable penalty taker, perhaps since the very start. Fatal career missed the original spot kick, but fortunately was there to slam home the rebound for 3-1. That before Liam Dolman will get the fourth for the Diamonds, 24 minutes in. And then to complete a rather extraordinary 35 minutes, the excellent Lamb Johnson there with a lovely chip over the oncoming Conway to make it 5-1 to the Diamonds. So a rip-roaring half of goals. AFC Russian and Diamonds 5, AFC Kemps and Rovers 1. With the win picking up in the second period, it led to some periods of scrappy play. Ash Fuller here with a free kick from distance, which Finley did well to claw around the post. And second half substitute Joel Gassi really did inject some pace and enthusiasm into proceedings. Here with a running shot, although Conway did well to deal with it. And then later on, Tom Moraine, who was full of running all night, putting in a dangerous looking cross, although Kempston dealt with it rather well. This shot from Scott Joseph was the end of the action. FC Russian and Diamonds 5, FC Kempston Rovers 1. And this means for the first time this season, Diamonds are at the very top of the UCL Premier Division. So here we've man the match, Liam Dolan. Liam, thoughts on that game? Um, very tricky, to be honest. The, obviously, the conditions played their part, but first half performance from us, apart from the goal, which I'll hold my hands up, was more mistakes slipping. But as a team, we're growing in character each week, and uh, I think our performances are showing that, so we're very happy with the win. Yeah, we came flying out of the blocks. Was that the intention from the start? Of course, every game is. We've got to come out. We know teams are going to come at us because at the minute we're flying, they want to beat us, they want to stop our runs. So we've got to come out of the traps just as much as they are. So we've got to show teams respect, but. More importantly, like you say, we've got to come out of the traps and make sure we get in front early. And how difficult was it to play in this wind? Um, to be honest, I felt as a defender the first half was more difficult than the second half with the wind. But as a team, um, second half, defensively, all over the park, we were magnificent. We, to be honest, we didn't give them a sniff. Their, their shots were coming from outside the box, which pleased us. And you picked up a goal? It was given to you. Is that, are you claiming that one? It's a bit dubious. I'm an honest lad, so it's uh, it's an own goal. Was it? Yeah. So that's two own goals tonight we had. Then. Yeah, but we'll, it doesn't matter how they go in or who scores, as long as we score and win, him, we're all happy. And top of the league now tonight. You've got to be pleased with that. Very pleased. Obviously, that's our aim, and it's it's now up to us as players to to keep us up there. So obviously, we're, we're brimming with confidence at the minute. So hopefully, it can continue. Big game on Saturday. Will we do anything different, or will we prepare for it like we do every other one? Just prepare for it. As we do for every other game, we know they're a good side, obviously, because they're up there. But we've just got to concentrate on ourselves. If we do things right, we'll, we'll give any team a, a very good game. So we're, we're full of confidence and we're, and we're going to go into the game to try and win it. Good. And all the lads have, uh, are fully up for it on Saturday? Of course, yeah. We're flying. I mean, we can't stop scoring at the minute. Hopefully that continues. We've got to keep it a bit tighter at the back. We know that. But I'll take a 1-0 Saturday, but if we can get 4-5, or five, but it's going to be a difficult game, we know that, so um, just hope, we hope for the win, that's all we can do. Brilliant, well thanks very much for coming and talking to us, well played today and we'll hopefully see you next week. Cheers, thanks a lot. Here with that manager Andy Peaks after this 5-1 victory against Kempston, Peaks, your thoughts on the game? Yeah, really pleased.
Yeah, it was ultimately a tough night, I thought. They've had some decent results, signed some new players, so happy to get a win. To win by 5-1 was brilliant, yeah. And we started at the blocks fantastically. Was uh, was that the instructions from the off? We, we all try and start as well out the blocks. Uh, wind was obviously made a massive difference tonight, first half. It was a strong wind, so we wanted to pepper their box the best we can and put them under a lot of pressure, and obviously that paid off. Did it, you knew the win was going to play into uh, whoever was kicking the right way. Did, did who won the toss? Did we win the toss? Or? Yeah, we, well, we said, I said go with it because you never know it may drop, so always go with the conditions. Um, it's not always easy to play with the wind because sometimes it can blow obviously too far forward, but we just felt if we get balls in the box with that wind and we got some big lads in there, things could happen. That's exactly what did happen. Half time, um, what was the instructions to them? Half time was like I said, you know, don't think it's over at 5 1 because, with uh, say, the conditions as they are, if they put balls in our box, the same thing could happen. And we didn't want to give them a bit of a lift and put us in, on the back foot. So the aim was to keep a clean sheet. And we've done that second half, so I was pleased with that as well. And you went with the same team that started Saturday, um, as you, you say that you will do. Difficult, though, for Kongi and, and Turner. Turner wasn't able to get on at all? Yeah, I think it's difficult. You know, we want, said we want competition for places. I thought the boys played Saturday really well, particularly second half, so it made it easy to really keep the same team. Uh, Sam Brown couldn't get away from work. He's working away, so it gave me a chance to get the other two back into the squad with, obviously, Matty Gear and going away for a week or on holiday. Um, so, yeah, that's how it panned out. Obviously, the game went as it was. It was always a case of Turns or Scott for the last little bit and I just felt Scott against his old team was nice to get on I'm sure Jace will understand that Absolutely and uh, we uh, we now for the first time in the season go top of the league you've got to be delighted Yeah well that's where we want to be you know this stage of the season it's nice to be up there we've lost that one game at Yaxley we said other teams would drop points it's about us not dropping as many as the rest and we'll be there and thereabouts well, we were trying to work out we scored 27 goals in, in our home run here, so we don't really want to play away anymore, do we? No, we're happy playing here. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, like you say, we're happy. We just we want to make this a fortress. I said that four or five games ago when we first. Let's make it people don't want to come here. Let's be attractive, yeah, score goals, get a lot of points. And we've done that so far. Yeah, because they, when they turned up here, they looked, you know, they looked, it's sort of very confident that they could get a result from it, and within you know 20 minutes or so, it was uh, it was it was all wrapped up, wasn't it? Yeah, well, pretty much you think so. That you should you know five one, you shouldn't be caught at that. You never know in football things happen with that long left. But now they turned out. They've so they've got some good players in their team. They've signed some recently, and they'll probably be a top six team, I would think. And hopefully they'll take points off of the teams for us. Uh, but I say we started so well, it sort of blew them away a little bit. And on to Saturday, got to be looking forward to that match against Holby. Yeah, of course we are. I mean, people have been talking about it for a little while, but we kept saying, unless you win the games before that, it's not really a big game. Obviously now it is, because they're up there, we're up there. So it's a game a lot of people want to see. So, you know, we've got to be prepared right, ready, until we can get Saturday. And a, and a good selection headache for you, though. Of course it is, yeah. Good selection of eggs. You know, everyone wants to play. We'll have a look at the injuries. A couple did get knocks tonight. Uh, we'll train Thursday. We'll see what we're at and be ready for Saturday. Brilliant. Well, thanks for coming and talk to us. Speak to you Saturday. No problem.